We've got answers! Why is space black and the sky blue? If you look to where there is no source of light, it's black. That's true in a room when you turn out the lights. It's black. So wherever there is no light, it's dark. Now, why is the sky blue? Sunlight comes to us as white light, and white, I don't know if you knew this, was composed of all the colors of the rainbow. That's how you get the rainbow. Sunlight goes through the raindrop, and it gets split into red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. Turns out the atmosphere grabs the blue light from the spectrum and scatters it into the atmosphere. And so the blue is taken away from the spectrum, and the red comes through. That's why sunsets are so beautifully red and yellow, and the sky is a very deep blue. So you have a blue sky simply because the blue got snatched. You've got questions, we've got answers. Why do I get a shock when I put my cat on a cold day? So basically on a cold, dry day, this will happen if you rub your hands on anything fuzzy. It doesn't have to be your cat. It could be like your wool sweater, or rub your feet on the wool carpet. You build up the charges, and then you discharge on somebody's nose, on a doorknob. It's fun. Your cat won't like it if you discharge yourself onto the cat. You've got questions, we've got answers. What is light? Light is just a form of energy. It happens to be my favorite form of energy because it allows us to know what's going on at a distance. Take a glowing object, for example. There are light particles entering your eye gets sensed by your brain and your brain says, I see my best friend over there, or I see a TV show, or I see the stars. Light enables you to know what's going on in a place where you don't happen to be standing at that moment. You've got questions, we've got answers. If the Earth and Moon are spinning, why do I always see the same side of the Moon? The Moon has to turn in order to show the same face towards us. It takes one full trip around us for the moon to make one full spin. And it has to do with the gravitational interaction between Earth and the moon. And it's called a tidal lock. It happens anytime you have a big planet and a smaller moon in orbit around it. You've got questions, we've got answers. Why does water freeze from the top down and not from the bottom up? There's a particular temperature as you get near the freezing point where instead of water getting denser, it actually expands, it's less dense. So there's a point where really, really, really cold water wants to float on top of all the water that's warmer than it. And so as a result, lakes, rivers, they'll freeze from the top down. You've got questions, we've got answers. How fast is the Earth going through space and why can't I feel it? You are getting carried along just simply by the rotation of the Earth at about 800 miles an hour, so that's fast. Not only that, Earth as a planet is in orbit around the sun at a speed of about 18 miles per second. These are very fast motions, but they're very smooth. You don't feel smooth motion, and that's what's going on as we stand here on Earth. You've got questions, we've got answers. Why does my hand get hot if I drag it when I go down the slide? Actually, if you drag your hand on anything, it wouldn't have to be a slide. Drag it on anything, your hand will get hot. And it works because of friction. Anytime there's friction, there is heat. That's why cars get hot. There's friction all throughout the engine of a car. Your hands get hot when you rub them. Anything that rubs against anything else is friction, and that creates heat. Works every time. You've got questions, we've got answers. What is infinity? Infinity is a mathematical concept. There's nothing bigger than infinity. But it turns out you can have infinities that are bigger than other infinities. That's where it really gets freaky. So don't worry about it if you can't think of what infinity is, because it's designed to be bigger, bigger than, anything than anything you could have possibly have thought of. What would happen if the Earth stopped spinning? Earth's rotation is carrying us all at about 800 miles an hour due east. You don't feel that because we're sort of all moving together. But let's imagine someone sticking their finger out from space and stopping the rotation of the Earth at one instant. 
Well, if you're not attached to the Earth, you're going to keep going forward at 800 miles an hour. That's what would happen if the Earth stopped rotating. You've got questions, we've got answers. Why do I get a headache when I eat ice cream too fast? I don't know. I, I have no idea. I'm an astrophysicist. By the way, I happen to love ice cream and I never got a headache. Um, but, uh, yeah, you gotta ask somebody else that one. <laughs> we'll have to get back to you on that one.